Welcome back to News Channel 3 Daybreak. Every Tuesday as part of our Greater Memphis on a Mission series, we highlight organizations making Memphis better. Well, this week we caught up with a group that believes in hugs, hope, and help. He's silly and smart and quirky, um, and he also happens to have autism. Uh, and he's currently non-speaking, but he is doing all the things and I'm really proud of him. Allison Neenan's five-year-old son, Russ, has been attending Harwood Center for a little over a year and has been making great progress. He's not using words, but he does have a device. He communicates on a little, we call it his talker. Um, so he will use that to communicate some of his wants, things that he needs, things that he doesn't want. He knows how to navigate that thing. He's making more eye contact. He's, he's engaging more. And I, you know, communication at Harwood is so great. Harwood Center is located on the University of Memphis's South Campus, a private nonprofit organization that specializes in children with developmental and behavioral challenges. They help children reach their full potential by learning customized skills to enhance their development. The child is not defined by their diagnosis. Rachel Loletta is their executive director. So we are an intensive outpatient therapeutic clinic. So most of our kids right now have a diagnosis of at least autism spectrum disorder. They age from 18 months to six years old. We do one-on-one -on -one therapy. And so all of that does is so it builds on how the kid learns best, the goals that the parent has, so we can help them while they're here and beyond. Allison remembers the day they received Russ's diagnosis. As a parent, that can take you to a lot of different places. We felt initially some grief just at the loss of what we had envisioned parenting to look like with him. New to the world of autism, Allison and her husband started researching resources for children and families. They knew they needed to start building a new village to surround them in their new journey. They uh, take a really unique approach in um, getting to know the child and making sure they understand my baby's strengths, what makes motivates him, what excites him. and. You know, because he's non-speaking, I really wanted to make sure there was a place that could also uh, encourage communication, whatever that looks like for him. That is why Brown Missionary Baptist Church and the Mid-South Genesis CDC donated $1,000 to the Harwood Center. Because they've been a steady resource for families navigating a whole new world since 1957. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Harwood Center, we've included their information in this story at WREG.com. And if you know a group making a difference in our community, head to WREG.com to nominate them. Oh, incredible. I mean, teaching those life skills just in general, you're talking about independence mm -hmm. for the little ones as they and, grow. Right. And for the independence for what that's going to be working for them. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's so individualized and it's so customized yeah. and they do such a great job to be able to do that. We kind of lack those resources in the city of Memphis. So Harwood Center is a guiding light yeah. and more so giving you hope and knowing that your child is in great hands. Yes. We definitely need more of that. And I love how you just put it, how they're expanding their village right and you, you have that. to when you, you have do. a different path than what you thought was going to happen for you you have a new village yeah. that's going to be even bigger and brighter Love for you it. thank you Corey yeah. 